Do you have problems with your eyesight camera on your LED cinema display? Maybe you did the same mistake as, as I did. So I thought this USB connection to the LED cinema display was only for the USB hub, but it turns out it's actually the connection for the eyesight camera. Well, in hindsight, that's kind of obvious, but uh, in my internalization of this digital world, I missed that. So if I unconnect this USB cable, now the eyesight camera isn't there anymore. And when I attach it again, it should come on. Uh, at least if I activate it. Let's see if... Well, I have to restart screencast, it seems. So, now we should be up and running again. So, I think the thing is why I missed that uh, this USB cable has to be inserted is that in previous version of Mac OS, OS X Sierra, the camera actually did work in my Windows machine, but it didn't work in uh, Apple, in Mac OS. So now I'm in, I've upgraded to Mac OS High Sierra version 10.13.5. And before I actually had, uh, you see here I'm in uh, parallels and my Windows machine and I can now connect the Apple iSight camera here. And for some time, like a week ago, before I upgraded my Mac OS High Sierra, the camera actually worked in Windows 10 and it didn't work in High Sierra. So you have two options, I think. Either you upgrade your Mac OS High Sierra to at least 10.13.5, then it should work for you. Or if you are on previous versions, then then it doesn't work so <laughs> or you then you can do what i did and use the camera from from uh, like a parallel machine or a virtual machine because from there it works um, i don't know if this helps you i just want to put it out there and in the process learn how to make youtube videos so yeah that's all for me for now attach the usb cable and upgrade high sierra to 1013.5 and your iSight camera should be fine to go. Thank you for watching and see you next time. If you like my videos, feel free to do nothing. Just grab a cup of coffee and enjoy.